DSHA was a busy place Wednesday morning as the state's most sought after basketball player, Arike Agunbowale, made it official. Notre Dame was her college of choice. The Dasher senior was the Wisconsin Player of the Year last season, averaging 22 points and 12 rebounds a game. Next fall, she takes those talents to South Bend. It was a great place. First, academics. I want to study business, and then they have the number one business school, so that was really appealing to us. Um, it's close to home. It's great coach, Hall of Fame coach, and I love all the players, so it's just a really good fit for me. As a family, we sat down and we thought about the best fit for Arike, you know, and um, at the end of the day, we said that Notre Dame fits her style of play and academics as well. Small environment, class sizes, just the whole works. Also signing at Divine Savior was all-conference swimmer Morgan Fisher, who will attend Lindenwood University. And it was quite a week for twin sisters Elizabeth and Catherine Maki. After winning the state volleyball title last weekend in Green Bay, both girls will be headed to the University of Dayton on scholarship next year. It was a proud moment for the Rufus King girls basketball program as not one, but two players signed Division I letters of intent. City Conference Player of the Year and All-State performer Shaquilla Fowler will be heading south of the border as she plays for the Illinois State Redbirds next fall. It's a place she saw as a perfect fit. It's important that the coaches support the players as well as the team support the players and have a, just a welcoming environment. So that was a big deal and it's not too far from home. So whenever I need my parents to come watch me or I need to go home, it's very, it's very convenient. Teammate Akela Hayes chose to stay closer to home. The senior forward averaged the double-double last season and hopes to continue that success at UW-Milwaukee. The players are such so wonderful. I love the coaches. Uh, they, they treat me like family, so I'm really happy that's a home environment. I really like it there. And of course, there's some unfinished business for each of the basketball players. A potential state championship to add to their already impressive resumes this coming March.